Hey everybody, this is Fight Club Hubs, and this is my review of Mass Effect 3 for the PC. So it's all come down to this. The Reaper invasion has begun, and it's up to Commander Shepard to gather all the remaining survivors of the galaxy and band together and fight for their survival. Of course, Commander Shepard has to go through a few hoops to make this happen since the entire galaxy is in chaos. So how does the final story in the Commander Shepard trilogy pan out? Let's dive right in and find out. This is very much what we've come to expect from Bioware. They've delivered yet another strong story. There aren't many hiccups here as you fight for the survival of all Ian races and come to the dramatic conclusion of the Reaper's story arc. However, in this case, we are now in the final chapter of a very satisfying book. Mass Effect 3 takes place a few years after Part 2, and we find Commander Shepard about to be court-martialed. However, before anything happens, the Reapers crash the party and all hell breaks loose as the galaxy is now under siege from the forewarn Reaper invasion. While Earth is being bombarded, Shepard manages to escape and is sent on his final mission to gather up enough surviving troops to take it to the Reapers. As you parade around the galaxy, all the allies you pick up will work together on a weapon that is said to stop the Reapers. Along the way, you'll be visiting new worlds and visiting old hunting grounds. For the first time, you'll get to visit the Asari homeworld while it's being laid waste. And you'll also be defending the moon of the Turian home. Along the way, you'll also run into former and returning comrades. Emotions will run high with each encounter, ranging from joy to sorrow, as you watch each former companion make their own mark in war against the Reapers. Some returning characters like Morden, Rex, and Legion won't be rejoining your group, but their actions will have a long-lasting and an emotional effect upon you. Other returning characters like Ashley, Garrus, Liara, and Joker give you a great sense of nostalgic joy as you're reunited with old friends who will fight with you to the bitter end. They're joined by a new cast of characters like James Vega, a mobile Edie, and DLC character Yavik, who offer their own unique personality and abilities for the war. Plot-wise, defeating the Reapers and gathering enough allies to build the super weapon is exactly what it sounds like. Each mission deploys you to various planets or space stations in search of potential aid. However, there's always a catch when you try to gather more allies. Each race wants Shepard to do something that will help them despite their impending doom, whether it's curing the genophage, helping the Quarians take back their homeworld, or saving the Turian's last qualified leader. You know, simple stuff. The galaxy of Mass Effect is still very much open to you like in previous games, but there's danger at every turn. The Reapers aren't your only problem this time. Cerberus and the elusive man are taking advantage of the invasion and have started an all-out war for an unknown objective. Cerberus's aggressive actions are a key part to the game's plot and adds extra pressure to the huge burden already mounted upon you. You'll also come across several missions with unresolved stories from the previous Mass Effect games. How they will fare definitely helps with the resolve of the Reaper War. It feels satisfying tying up some loose ends in the trilogy. Entering the final part of the game is a journey all in and of itself. Once the super weapon is complete, it's time to head back to Earth and reclaim it. Your excitement will be high as you are on the final leg of your tremendous story. The road is a tough one as the Reapers and their legions will do everything they can to stop Shepard and his crew from saving the galaxy. The emotions will run high as you come to the climactic ending. However, upon completing Mass Effect 3, you will find yourself only partially satisfied. Upon seeing the credits roll, you will find you are left with a lack of closure. You will wonder what happens to your companions, what happens to the galaxy you just saved, along with many other questions that you might have. Of course, this doesn't completely take away from the amazing journey you just took to get there. I'll get right to the point. Mass Effect 3 plays just like Part 2. No real changes to the gameplay mechanics. Controls are still just as responsive and silky smooth as they've always been. The game's leveling system and Paragon Renegade system remains virtually unchanged. Interaction with your crew is still essential if you want them to survive to the very end. Issuing commands to your comrades is still a big part of the game's combat and your survival. Combat has had an increase in terms of frequency and difficulty. The number of waves you were used to in previous games has increased to match the dire circumstances surrounding the Reaper invasion. No matter where you go, you will have a fight on your hands. You'll find yourself facing more than just a couple of waves of enemies followed by some big nasty brute. No, now you'll have multiple waves of big nasty brutes, and you will die a lot. The single player campaign plays just like it does in Mass Effect 1 and 2. You go from mission to mission as you progress through the game's story. It follows the same generic structure of the previous titles. The side missions are mostly the bread and butter of Mass Effect 3. You usually accept these on the Citadel and they range from finding a person of interest or an object and delivering them to somebody on the Citadel. You'll find yourself traversing the galaxy completing these missions that range from finding bones to lost artifacts and reaper infested systems. The rewards are all pretty much the same, generally some cash reward or aid that goes towards building the supposed super weapon to fight the reapers. 
There are a couple new additions made for Mass Effect 3. One is the ability to find aid by flying around in Normandy, and the other is Mass Effect 3's brand new multiplayer mode. The main emphasis of Mass Effect 3 is to fly around the galaxy, gathering aid for your final stand against the Reapers. You do this a number of ways. You can just follow through the main quest, completing the main objectives, follow some side quests, and gather aid from other alien life forms, or scan a bunch of planets in search of aid. The later is rather tricky because of the brand new Reaper threat. If you scan a system too many times, it will alert the Reapers to your position, and they will start hunting you down. If they do, it's game over. The new multiplayer mode is more than just a simple slap-on feature. It feels more like a giant side mission that allows you to team up with a bunch of people on the internet and take on wave after wave of endless Geth, Reaper, or Cerberus forces until you're either victorious or dead. It's simple, straightforward, and lots of fun. You start out in Mass Effect 3 multiplayer mode by creating your avatar from your four races and three combat classes. You can level them up the exact same way you can in the single player game. You can customize your weapons and items for combat. The more games you play, you get points which can go towards unlockable rewards. The rewards come in the form of more unlockable classes, new weapons and ammo, and ability modifiers which help you in combat. The overall feeling of Mass Effect 3's multiplayer is extremely satisfying, and as a treat, it also helps you out in the single player campaign by increasing your forces' ready status. Overall, I found the game's new multiplayer mode to be very satisfying, and it's a wonderful addition to the already stellar single player campaign. Aesthetically, Mass Effect 3 is just as pleasing to the eyes and ears as previous titles were. Mass Effect 3 is just simply incredible to look at from a graphical standpoint. Visiting each alien world despite the heavy amount of destruction is still breathtaking. The scale and scope of every world is enhanced by the presence of the Reapers, who you can see in the background of most of the worlds you visit, and in a few cases, you get up close and personal with them. All the worlds are simply amazing to look at, even the barren desert world of Tachanka. Exploring the Krogan homeworld, you can see so much of their lost history through highly detailed wall carvings and hieroglyphs as you travel through ancient abandoned temples. The attention to detail is amazing. Now, pardon the small spoiler, but one of my personal favorite worlds to visit is actually the representation of the collective minds of the Geth. Here, you walk around in a virtual reality sim with a Tron type of feel to it. There are giant pixelated strands everywhere that represent the influence of the Reaper's AI as a sort of virus, and there are holographic flashbacks you witness the further you progress. The Geth AI realm is breathtaking and well done, and definitely one of my favorite areas to explore. Seeing other planets like the Asari homeworld in ruins does evoke some emotions. You take a step back to take in the surroundings and realize what the planet would have looked like had it not been decimated. The way every planet looks is made to evoke strong emotional responses from you and give you a nice swift kick in the rear to make you grasp the scope of this intergalactic genocide of the Reapers. The audio for Mass Effect 3 is just as amazing and emotionally jarring as the graphical presentation. BioWare weaved their magic here once again like they've done in so many other titles before. The musical score is hands down the best of the trilogy from start to finish. The score is truly representative of all the chaos and destruction that has gone across the entire galaxy. Some themes that were used in Mass Effect 1 and 2 are used here once again, and they are used perfectly, usually to tie in with closing story arcs or finding resolve, or just for some nostalgic appeal in regards to current or former comrades. Overall, the graphical and audio presentation is some of the best around, and I expected nothing less from my I only have a few issues with Mass Effect 3. The first is how incredibly short the game is. The first two games I completed in about 30 hours, whereas my first time playing through Mass Effect 3, I completed it in just about 23 hours. The main story arc missions are incredibly short and can be completed rather quickly. My second issue are the side quests. There aren't that many, and the majority of them are incredibly short. The short side quests either involve you just running to and from the Citadel and performing a quick planet scan. Most of the side quests can be completed in just a few minutes. Sadly, there's only a few lengthy side quests in the game that actually have you landing on the planet. And unfortunately, these longer quests are just different rescue mission variations. Aside from the single player campaign and the multiplayer mode, there really isn't a whole lot going on for Mass Effect 3. There is a day one DLC that does give you a brand new member, however. Unfortunately, there are no signs of any other type of post single player campaign missions aside from an extended ending DLC that will be coming courtesy of BioWare. And there are some other DLC content on the horizon, but they're mostly just multiplayer mission packs.
Here's my overall thoughts of Mass Effect 3. It's the final chapter of the trilogy and you knew it was going to end. And just like anything you've enjoyed, you really don't want it to. Upon completing the game, it's bittersweet, but I felt satisfied with the way things turned out. I do have some minor reservations with the length of the game and the lack of complete closure, but there is planned DLC to remedy this. Aside from the minor nitpicks, the overall journey was great from beginning to end. So here's a list of the positives of Mass Effect 3. I thoroughly enjoyed the game's story and pacing from beginning to end. The combat is still incredibly fun, fast, and intense. The universe, even as it's been destroyed, still looks beautiful. I enjoyed the returning story arcs and loved seeing them being resolved. The multiplayer mode was a wonderful and enjoyable surprise, and the game evoked a lot of emotional responses from me. Now here's some of the negative issues in Mass Effect 3. Mass Effect 3 is a lot shorter than the previous two games in the series. There are definitely less side quests than the previous games as well, and there are some minor closure issues with the ending. Now overall, Mass Effect 3 is a great experience from beginning to end, and what truly mattered the most was finally seeing the journey's end, and Mass Effect 3 definitely delivered. So my overall grade for Mass Effect 3 is an A-. Thank you for watching GVN's first video review, and please check out our website regularly for more content.